welcome to my youtube channel so on this video we are going to talk about the linear differential equation so for me to start with this video um i want to appreciate my subscribers so i'm going to view some of the comments so you can see some of the comments as shown so thank you all for your subscription i always see your subscription will be a great count to my youtube channel so Today's video is about linear differential equation that is continuation with my previous video. So one may ask, how will you classify differential equation as linear? Well, it is based on three things. So please make sure you watch this video to the end because um, I'm going to take some examples, very challenging examples, and I'll also be with it lives. So let's start. So a differential equation that is, is a linear base, you have some three conditions that you need to achieve before a differential equation could be linear. So the first one is um, the condition for a linear differential equation are as follows. So we have three. These three rules or these three conditions, please don't forget these two conditions because with these three conditions, you'll be able to determine whether a differential equation is linear or not. So the first condition is a dependent variable and all its derivative occur in only first degree as in my previous video we talk about the degree and the order when we talk about the degree as in the degree of um, a differential equation is the exponent of the highest order which is the the highest differential equation so the degree is the highest um that's the exponent of the highest uh, order when we talk about the order it is there the number of times a differential equation has been won or a function has been differentiated. So in uh, a linear differential equation, all the equations are in first degree. Now, the second one is no product of the dependent variable. Now, the trick with this is that with the differential equation, we have the dependent variable and the independent variable. The trick here is that I'm going to give one trick about it for you to find a different, uh, a dependent and independent variable. So with this, we have dy, dy over dx. One may ask, which one is the dependent and which one is independent? Let me show you this trick. Always the down one is the dependent, uh, the down one is the independent one, and the top one is the dependent one. So with this y is a dependent and x is the independent here right so you need to put this in your head always the down one is the independent one and the top one is a dependent one regardless of the values or the variables so you need you say no product of the dependent variable so this means that you do have a product like you have dy dx times y this will make the whole equation not linear right yes and the third one is what? No transcendental function of the dependent variable. This means that you shouldn't have, maybe when talk about the transcendental function, the cos, sine, length, you shouldn't have the product of it like maybe we are using this. So the um, dependent variable is y, which will be maybe cos y. When you get something like this, it's wrong because it's not make the function or the equation linear because the dependent variable is y so you shouldn't have a multiplication of the dependent variable by a transcendental function so these are the three rules that you need to put in your mind these three rules will guide you whenever a question is given to you for you to determine whether it is linear or not linear so what you do now is you check whether it's in first degree that means the exponent is one and also the product no product of the dependent variable as I explained and no transcendental function of the dependent variable. So guys, let's take some example and I'll try to determine whether um, the differential equation is linear or non-linear. So the first example is this. Well, for the condition given to us, we have three conditions we need to satisfy for a differential equation to be linear. One, you say what? It's your first degree and this is first degree and also there shouldn't be a product of the variable, that's the dependent variable. There's no product of the dependent variable. And also, there shouldn't be the product of what? A transcendental function multiplying the independent variable. Here, 
the dependent variable is y, the independent variable is x. So this one makes it what? A linear differential equation because the multiplication here is the x is the independent variable here. Let's go to number two. This is also a question given to us. Well, let's see this. Now we have the dependent variable to be t. Uh, okay, so the dependent variable to be um, r and the independent variable to be t. But with a question, this is what? The product of the product of um, I'm talking about the product of the independent variable with that. So with this one, since k is not a differential equation, that is, it's not a derivative, this equation also is linear, right? Yeah. So this also is linear. Let's check this. With this, now when we see this, um, the y squared, so the other here is 2, but still the degree is 1. And let's see, would this still be linear or nonlinear? Well, you can pause this video and try whether it's linear or nonlinear. But I think since um, we have the product, this also is linear. I think this also is linear. Linear equation is linear differential equation. Yeah. The fourth one, let's see this. You can pause the video and try this. Is this linear or what? Nonlinear. Well, since the dependent variable is y and it is multiplying the derivative, this becomes non-linear. This is what a nonlinear function or a nonlinear differential equation. Sorry, my bad. And the fifth one, let's see this. Is this differential equation linear or nonlinear? You can pause the video and try this. Now, with this one, note the trick you. Now, the dependent variable is now x, and the independent variable is y. So, this equation is linear because it's the, it's the independent variable which is multiplying the derivative. So, it is linear. So, that's it. Let's take this. With this, they say the order should be 1, but I think here the order is 2 or something. So, but how do you find, they say the degree should be 1. But the question is, what is the degree of a differential equation? Now, the degree is the derivative or the highest or the power of the highest order or the power of the highest order. Now, when you talk about this one, the highest order is 2. And with this, the exponent is 1. So this is a linear differential equation. And even this, you can therefore try to eliminate this. And the squared will cancel the squared, which will give you the same thing as the squared y over dx squared is equal to m over h, 1 plus dy over dx. Because this square root will take off this square. That the square root will take off this square root. And the degree of this is 1. So I think this is a linear what differential equation. Let's see this. Hmm, can you can pause the video and try this? Is it linear or nonlinear? For where I'm seeing this, this is also a linear differential equation. Yes, because now we are talking about the order. When you talk about the order, it's three. And what to be the degree of the order? It's one. So here, the degree for this is one. Please don't look at this, that the degree is three. But for us to find the degree, you need to know that the degree is the exponent of the highest what order and the order here is three and the degree is what one so this also is what a linear differential equation let's check this you can pause the video and try this whether it is linear or nonlinear with this i think this is nonlinear now there are two things that makes this one nonlinear the first thing is one the order of this is three for it to satisfy a linear differential equation the order must be one no the order must be Sorry, my bad. For us to um, classify this, the degree is rather 3. But for it to fulfill the rule with that, the degree must be only 1. But here, the degree is 3, which makes this whole differential equation nonlinear. And also, as you can see, the W is the dependent variable, and the S is the independent variable. And it is multiplying the de what, derivative, which makes this one a big nonlinear function. Thank you very much for watching this video. Well, I hope you subscribe and watch.
share and comment now let me for me to end this i talk about the transcendental yes the transcendental functions so for example if i have dy over dx plus baby sine sine y is equal to zero please i want you to do this pause this video and try this whether this is a linear differential equation or non-linear differential equation so please comment yes comment your answer whether it is linear or non-linear equation thank you very much for watching this